You ever been using the decline bench, working your abs, and you're asking yourself, why do I feel this in my thighs and hips? Well, that's probably because you're using more of your quads and hips to bring yourself up. You see, the muscles that sit you up into this fetal position attach either down the thigh or around the lower back into the thigh, and if you were leaning back and putting pressure up against these pads, then these quad muscles are in constant resistance, trying to push the toes upward and pull your body into this erect position. When in fact, here, with the spine almost stacked, unless I'm focusing on stabilizing my core and abs, I'm relatively unloaded through the abs. So instead, if you're in this position, slowly drop yourself back and feel for when the shins push hard up against the bench and when the thighs burn the most. Don't come up to that point when you're doing your sit-up. Go ahead and relax the legs and think about what the abs actually do. They stabilize the spine and then they curve or flex the spine on the way up. So pull your shoulder blades back, keep the legs as relaxed as possible, and think about pushing the rib cage down and slowly rolling the spine off of the pad as far as you can before you feel the shins pushing into this and the quads start to heat up, and then slowly exhale and round it back down. That way, this flipping motion here, that's basically all hip momentum, is avoided and you get a true strong ab contraction that's not only gonna be safer for the lower back, but it's gonna be more effective with less energy spent. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope this helps